Ahead of his visit to France for the D-Day commemoration ceremonies, Vladimir Putin gave an exclusive interview to the French media in Sochi. Artis Neil Harvey listened in and told us some of the highlights. Well, President Putin met in his Sochi residence with journalists from Radio Europe and the French TV channel TF1. I would describe that interview as fairly aggressive. There were repeated questions about the reunification of Crimea with Russia. That eventually led the conversation on to NATO and the movement of NATO troops around Europe. This is what the president had to say. Any nation that willingly enters into a military alliance gives up some sovereignty. For Russia, this is unacceptable. I won't comment on other nations, though. That's their business. It reminds me of Charles de Gaulle. The general always tried to preserve France's sovereignty. That's worthy of respect. Another interesting question, I think, was um, relating to Hillary Clinton and her recent comments, which very unflatteringly likened Russia's actions in Eastern Europe to those of Adolf Hitler in the 1930s. And I think President Putin uh, used his wry sense of humour on this occasion. Let's have a listen. It's better not to argue with women, but Mrs Clinton has never been too graceful in her statements. Still, we always met afterwards and had cordial conversations at various events. When people push boundaries too far, it's not because they're strong, but because they are weak. But maybe weakness is not the worst quality for a woman. And I think one more issue worth mentioning was that of national defence. Uh, the question was about Russia's defence budget and uh, an increase recently. And I think President Putin quite clearly just pointed out that this is nonsensical because the US defence budget is bigger than the defence budget of every other country in the world put together. So I think um, the responses that we got here in Sochi, there was some humour, there was some cool logic and certainly not taking any nonsense from the journalists. Now, Harvey, then, if you want to catch more of what President Putin had to say, we've got more highlights on our website as well at rt.com.